Build it. Build it. Build it. Build it. Build it. Build it. So hey guys, I'm here with the team from Go Code Colorado. We're going to talk about that as a second. This is part of our effort as we talk as we build towards the summer of innovation in northern Colorado and all the cool stuff happening in the spring to feature and have discussions about some of the really unique resources, people, and efforts being made to drive innovation in the state of Colorado. So I'm here with Elaine and Andrew from, from the Go Code Colorado team. Andrew, what's Go Code? Go Code Colorado is a statewide civic app challenge. It's run out of the Secretary of State's office. We work uh, throughout state government to make public data more available in a central repository. And then we partner that up. We go out to the business community and ask what kind of problems could be solved by better use of public data. And then we engage the entrepreneurial community throughout the state and have them take that data and help solve those problems. Uh, excellent. So, so to spit that back at you, what I, what I heard you say is the state has an initiative that, that is twofold and, and kind of holistic. One is you go out to the business community, the people that are selling baked goods to cars, and you say, what are the problems? You know, what, what are you facing? They give you the entrepreneur's version of Here, here's, what, here's what doesn't work, infrastructure-wise, whatever. And then what you're doing is you're looking at the data sets that you're collecting through all the different efforts the state has. And you're then making those data sets available where you're theming them around those problems. So Go Code sits as, as kind of a, of, of a competition, of a challenge that then is opened up to anyone in the state that wants to compete to create a solution that could be the next, you know, big app, right? It could be the next B2B app, it could be the next B2C app that solves that problem but also makes the data that you have actually usable and ready. Is that is that that's exactly right. That's you know that's one pretty of our, freaking cool. Our tagline is build apps, build business, build Colorado. There there were how many total data sets? So so when people competed they had is it fifty some odd data how many data sets do you make open for them to pull in? They didn't have to use all of them. No. Well our goal right now is to launch a hundred new and we have wow. thirty that are already newly published. And last year I believe do you remember the total they got? A little less than forty last year. A little less and than forty. And for those who what are other examples of data sets that are now easily available, not easily readable in a, in, to the end user if they're looking for where to put their business, like mm -hmm. last year, they're not easily readable. So the person who built the app, the Beacon mm -hmm. score, really Beagle was able- score. Beagle score, that's mm -hmm. right, Beagle. So Beagle was able to win because what they did was they created a, a one score that was based on like 50 or 60 different inputs mm -hmm. that prior to that had never been available or consumable efficiently by the end user. Absolutely. Um, like a bakery store owner or like anybody else. And mm -hmm. they called it a Beagle score and they used all your open APIs to essentially create a forward facing or a front end solution that made it easy for me to go, well, that's a 40 yep. out of 100 versus Absolutely. an 80. So those kind of solutions are what you're encouraging people to come invent and build, but you're providing all the raw material for the data to be accurate there's two parts to what we're doing and one is is that somebody literally goes and knocks on the door of state agencies and says please give us your data we're going to clean it and publish it to the Colorado information marketplace and so it makes it more accessible to the public and especially software developers who are looking for an easy way to access the data mm -hmm. and then the second half of it is is we're asking business you know businesses and business owners in Colorado what are your problems what are you facing that you cannot um, that you cannot solve on your own. And then we're bringing those two together uh, with the competition. So there you have it, Launch NoCo. We gotta win again, right? Pressure's on. Grand Junction, Durango, Denver, Springs. Yes. They're all gonna be gunning for you. So from our standpoint, let's put a couple of kick-ass teams together. For the other cities, uh, game on. And we we'll wanna thank the Go Code uh, Colorado team. Make sure you visit Go Code uh, on the web at gocode.co, that's G-O-C-O-D-E. Co. This is the cool t-shirt they give you when you compete. It's probably going to be better this year. <laughs> well. uh, but this is a pretty sick t-shirt. I get compliments on this all the time. And um, that's it for today. Thanks, guys, for coming. Thanks Thank for you. having us.